It's a never-ending business. I was just spent a week in, China, in southern China. I went to Guangzhou, which went to Shenzhen. And then we went to Guangxi, which is not quite so developed, and also to Hong Kong. And you can see how the people are moving, how quickly they are thrusting ahead. And with that anxiety and urgency that they don't want to be left behind by the next door city. And we are a next, next door city. So I was asked, do I see this as a threat? I say, no, provided we are also moving ahead. If we don't, we will be in trouble. We have constraints. With the land area is finite. We reclaim land, but every square kilometer of land you reclaim means one square kilometer of sea, which you lose for the port and for, har for our harbor. So we expand the space, but really what we need to do is to reuse and, max and, and exploit over again the space which we already have. Higher, deeper, smarter, better integrated, better designed. Uh, it's urban planning, it's uh, your economic renewal, it's really the renewal of your people and their skills and be able to engage them to the full and engage them to operate in a consistent and aligned direction. So we're not all pulling in different directions, lots of smart guys, result zero, which happens in a lot of countries and mustn't happen in Singapore. Will it be harder to keep it this discipline I think in so. the country? I think so, because um, we are starting from a higher base, and when you start from zero, you know acutely that where you are is um, something to rejoice and to give thanks for. If you start at this point, well, you assume that this is what ought to be and the natural way the world is, and you hope for something better. And I, I, you can strive for something better, but the the that same awareness of fire and brimstone is not quite the same. 